AAA reports that 90% of Thanksgiving travelers do most of their driving today and tonight. Mm -hmm. And our crews are tracking one of the biggest holiday travel nights on the ground and of course in the air. Karina Nova monitoring the traffic in Chopper 10 and Chris Bradley is tracking the forecast. But we begin with 10 TV's Chuck Strickler live along busy Interstate 71 in Delaware County. Chuck. And a steady stream of cars here along I-71 here in Delaware County, Jerry. You can actually see some brake lights up here of some of these drivers heading northbound. Now, the congestion partly because of the Thanksgiving holiday rush, but also because of an ongoing highway headache. AAA predicts nearly 1.7 million people in Ohio will hit the road and travel more than 50 miles away from home to get to their Thanksgiving destinations. One of the busiest highways is always I-71. Could probably drive it with my eyes closed if that was safe. <laughs> Catherine Reitman and her husband Greg and their golden doodle Lucy are traveling from Cincinnati to Cleveland, a trip they've made dozens of times over the years. They don't like to deal with all the backups whenever they get north of Columbus. A bit frustrating. I, I mean, the shorter time we spend in the car, the more time we can spend with family over the holidays. Yeah. So excited to get home and but traffic's traffic. Part of the problem, a construction project to widen I-71 from two to three lanes for a 25 mile stretch north of Columbus. Now all but four miles on the southbound side now have three lanes, but about 20 miles on the northbound side won't have that third lane until next year. The Ralston family is already looking forward to next Thanksgiving when their trip to Cleveland will hopefully be shorter. I'll believe it when I see it. Uh -huh. Yeah, all the years we've driven it, it's always been this bad, so really, we'll deal with it and move on. The Reifmans can't wait for the permanent change to three lanes, too. It makes me happy. Looking can't be better. Looking forward to it. Now, you can expect the busiest travel time out of Columbus right around rush hour, right about now into the early evening hours. Now, to make better time, it may be smarter to head out a little bit later tonight if you haven't left already. Reporting live in Delaware County, Chuck Strickler, 10 TV News. Chuck, thank you. And we are tracking the major traffic jams in and around Columbus this evening. 10 TV's Karina Nova is live in Chopper 10 with details on the slowest spots in the city. Karina. Chris and I could tell you anyone that's driving to Cincinnati this evening out of Columbus is going to be sitting in some traffic. Take a look at the big backup we're seeing live from Chopper 10 right now. You're looking at 71 at Frank Road and the headlights here are heading southbound. Now there was an earlier crash on 71 southbound at 270. They just cleared it, but you can see traffic is still jammed. It's jammed from the downtown all the way down to 270. It does start to clear up a little bit past 270 once you Get closer to 665. Now there's also an accident here on the northbound side on 71 North just past Frank Road, but you can see that's not impacting traffic at all. We are going to take a look at the busy spots out there. We're going to be flying around all evening long for you, keeping you informed as to what areas you want to avoid like this one here at 71 at Frank Road. We're going to check on 71 at Polaris Parkway through the Delaware area. I know that always gets jammed from personal experience driving to Northeast Ohio. So we're going to check on that and take a look at 70 as well. And we're going to check back in with you here in about 10 to 15 minutes. Live in Chopper 10, Karina Nova, 10 TV News.